it's said in polite conversations. There are two things that you don't talk about, politics and religion. Well, this week on The Pagan Perspective, we are talking about both of those things. Hi, my name is Rich, and this is the Monday Spot on The Pagan Perspective. I want to, before going into this week's topic, I want to say a thank you for Danny uh, covering for me the last regular host week. Uh, I had some issues that I was dealing with, uh, some life issues and uh, personal matters that, you know, I'm still dealing with, but I need that extra week. Um, So thank you to Danny for that. And anyway, getting into this week's topic, this one comes from Crumble Cat, who says, Does paganism and politics mix? I have a lot of questions about our religious rights and possible future in or out of the Eurozone. I'm in England, by the way. But I'm not sure who will listen without assuming I'm trying to have that debate. Now, by that debate, I don't know exactly what you're uh, referring to. If you're referring to having a religious debate or um, or what exactly is meant behind that. So I'm going to just kind of skip over that. Um, maybe others uh, have clarification on what you mean by that. But I'm sorry, I do not. Anyway, um, I also want to stipulate before I go any further in this that I know American politics and uh, even just at a passing glance at that. I am not a politically minded person as far as knowing all the ins and outs of politics. Um, I try to educate myself as much as possible, but as far as um, in Europe and in England and all the other areas, I don't know about political, um, the way that politics are run in other countries. So I'm sorry, I cannot speak intelligently on that. <clears throat> but if you, I will say this, if you have questions or have concerns about religious rights, religious freedoms, um, you have, as far as I am concerned, you have more than enough rights to ask those questions and get the answers and, and not accept the no's for answers or the I don't know's for an answer. You have more than enough rights to go and find the answers until you are satisfied with an answer that is intelligently given. If you are still not satisfied with the answer that you get, then as far as American politics, you have the capability of making a change in some way, shape, or form. Um, either by starting a petition, you can you know write your congressmen, your you know your senators. Um, you, you can write to the president for crying out loud, but, uh, I mean, you can take all these other avenues. You can get involved in lobbying groups and, um, different organizations that, you know, do political protests and whatnot. You can definitely get involved in those types of, um, uh, types of groups or do those types of actions as long as if you do them legally. And I want to stress that, uh, so as long as if you're doing everything legally, I think you have more than enough rights to go and get those questions answered or to make the change or ask for the changes as are necessary. As far as paganism and politics mixing, I think it totally can. You have those politics that run on a Christian stance that will say that these are what my beliefs are and you know you should vote for me because of that if a Christian can do it then a pagan can do it. I see no difference in that, and I have no problem with that. I also will stress that in the voting process that you not only look at somebody's uh, religious affiliation, but you actually see what their stances are on things. Some people will vote on a person only on one issue, uh, and abortion, abortions being one of the big issues. I knew somebody that he said, well, you know, because so-and-so is against abortion, that's who I'm voting for. I said, that's your litmus test for what is, you know, who who is right to run our country. And they said, well, that's the issue that they cared about the most. So, you know, some people have that litmus test, but I like to look at a 
full picture of who the person is, what their stances are on multiple issues, rather than just one issue here and one issue there, uh, looking at everything. And if they happen to be the same religion as I am, which is very unlikely, um, or they happen to be a Christian, a, a Jewish person, a Muslim, I don't care, as long as if they are fit to do the job. After all, I'm paying them to to do the job, not be a minister of that faith. So, as far as politics and religion mixing, it definitely can. It can be what fuels you in certain areas, such as abortion being one that fuels a lot of uh, Christian politics. Um, that That's one that fuels a lot of politicians that are Christians. You know, that that's what gives them the the stance of abortion is not okay. I think I'm making that clear. So, I, I think it can mix. I think it can give you the burning desire of, you know, this is what my, my platform is going to be. But I don't think it should be the be-all, end-all of what you're running for and, you know, are you good for the job. So, as far as it mixing to the point where this is why I'm voting for you? No. But can it be a factor of, you know, this is why they think this way and this is why I think they would be an okay leader? Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. And as far as paganism in politics, I, I will say that Selena Fox has done an amazing job and uh, not, not necessarily as much in politics um, and I could be incorrect about this, and, and I'm totally okay being incorrect about this, but Selena Fox was one of the ones behind putting, uh, or being able to have a pentacle on your headstone at a veteran cemetery. That is a big deal, because up until, I want to say it was 2005 or 2006, might be 2007, um, you, you just wouldn't see it. And now you can actually see that more often than what you would in the past. They would always give you a cross or a Star of David or something like that. But you wouldn't have a pentacle. Now, because of the, <clears throat> the stance that people like Selena Fox have taken and the petitions that have uh, been, uh, you know, circulated around and whatnot they have gotten the ample amount of signatures they have gotten the support and now it is a thing that can happen so you definitely have people like that and i want to say starhawk is another one but i'm gonna leave that one for car because i think i think car can um delve a little bit more into that but i think starhawk is one that uh actually did a lot more in the political realm especially in the early years uh, of the reclaiming tradition. I could be incorrect about that, and I know Carr will probably talk more on that uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. I think that's all that I have for today. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, I will see you guys next week. And, yeah, still with the uh, same old background for right now. I do have a new area to film in, but I haven't gotten it all set up yet. It's coming, though. And then hopefully I can do regular videos on my personal channel as well. So, uh, things to come up soon, things to be excited about. Uh, yeah. So, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.